everybody and god bless so real quick charity is over here she's in the crib she's calm right now she's eating snacks so i said hey let me go ahead and record this video so if you hear any munching in the background that's her and that's the best quietest i'll get her for right now so as you saw the title of this video before i get to that i want to talk about first thessalonians 5 18 and i'm reading it right over here so that's why i'm looking on the side but it says in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you so we must give thanks for everything that is given to you unless it is from the devil okay because i don't know about y'all but i am definitely not saying thank you to the devil for anything that he gives me but i just want to make sure that i point that out that we must be thankful we must be grateful for everything that has ever been given to us from the lord and then also to the people who have been used by god because keep in mind we all have free will so even though god has sent somebody in your life to bless you they still had the choice to say yes or no so it's always grateful to give thanks all right so i just want to say that really quickly because i don't want anybody thinking that i'm ungrateful when i talk about this situation that i need to talk about but i do want to say i am very very grateful and i pray that everybody else out there is grateful to everybody else who helped them so we always need to be grateful so to get to the title of this video i want to explain really quickly what respecter of persons means it means someone who treats someone according to their rank status or importance and that's straight from google so that means like you're treating somebody like let's say for instance somebody gave you money and you're like well because that person gave me money i'm going to be nicer to them or let's say somebody's your pastor well because they're my pastor i'm gonna show up at church or something like that like you know if it's like because this person did this or the because this person has this title that is you being a respecter of persons all right so i just want to explain what that means first now in acts chapter 10 verses 34 through 35 says then peter opened his mouth and said of a truth i perceive that god is no respecter of persons but in every nation that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him so see how that says feareth and worketh that did not say feared or work that means right here today it doesn't matter what you did when you was two or what you did when you were 20 and you're maybe like what you did when you were 20 you're maybe like 22 years old right now it doesn't matter what you did back then it matters what you're doing now and continuing to do because as we see here God is not a respecter of persons and he cares about the people who fearing who are fearing him now who are working in righteousness now is accepted with him all right so that also includes the people because I have seen people who have literally seen God who have went to hell who have all kinds of testimonies like crazy testimonies and turned around and fell from god now god is not a respecter of persons which means it doesn't matter if you had all those visions and all that stuff back then what matters is who you what you're doing today and that's how a lot of false prophets trick people and sorry she's shaking trying to get where she's next anyways but that's how false prophets trick people because in the beginning they probably were like a hundred percent on for god and then the doctrine of balaam came in hey here deal with this money come try and get money this way this way this way and then they turn and start falling from god or the doctrine of jezebel comes in and you know she is that sexual sin and that has really gotten a lot of people so what what if that happens to someone and then all of a sudden all that righteousness that they did is completely wiped away completely wiped away and there was scripture about that and i don't have it here right now but i'm definitely gonna look into it real quick So I just want to point out also that just reading this scripture alone, reading these two scriptures alone, this points out that God is not a respecter of persons. And we already know that we should try to be more like God. So if God is not a respecter of persons, that automatically means that we shouldn't be either. 
Now, if you go to James chapter 2, verse 9, it says, But if ye... So, as we already read before, God is not a respectable person. In this scripture, saying that we shouldn't be a respectable person. And it's not a suggestion. This literally says, ye commit sin. It is a sin to be a respecter of persons. All right. And it makes sense too, because think about when you hear that, when you hear somebody saying, well, this is my pastor. So this, 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 well, this, this person did this for me. So this, 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 they're putting that person above God because God could come to you. And this has actually happened to me in real life. God can come to you and tell you to stop communicating, to stop talking to, or to just straight up block someone that has helped you financially in tough spots or has helped you with when you're depressed and they come to you with like these these amazing things that help you feel better and stuff like that amazing scriptures that make you feel better and god could say hey that person is no longer of me that person is no longer following me so you need to cut them off and when god says that let me remind you when we go to judgment day We'll stand before Jesus, not that person. So when God says you need to cut that person off, it does not matter what they did for you. It doesn't even matter if whatever they did for you was that day or yesterday or they plan. They're telling you that they're going to do something for you tomorrow. It doesn't matter. You need to cut that person off cold turkey. OK, because a lot of these people are sent from the devil to curse you even more and even if they weren't sent by the devil maybe they were just maybe they were sincere they really was from god and they just they're like starting to fall from god and we know that god knows the end from the beginning so god knows what he's doing so god could be like hey get out now before it's too late and you're sitting here like, oh, but God, I don't see anything. I don't see anything wrong. And this person has done so many things for me and all this stuff. And it's like, I'm sorry, but I don't know about y'all. But I'm for me personally, when God says cut them off, I got to cut them off. And I have done that before multiple times to people who I talk to dearly to someone. I can think of someone right now. I She was like a sister to me. She was more of a sister to me than my little sister. And my little sister could tell you that's true. Because I was more, I was closer to her than my own family. And when the shot came out, all this stuff came out. And that friend of mine wasn't with it. God said, snip, snip. And I said, snip, snip. <laughs> and I was gone. And I'm doing scissors, not the peace sign. Anyways, so <laughs> yes, I was out of there. And then... Um, God has told me to cut off so many people in my life. It's not even funny. Like when God said, you got to cut, you got to cut. When God say run, you got to run. When God say jump, you better jump. And if God say sit down and be quiet, you better sit down and be quiet. Okay. So I just want to say that. Stop being respectful persons. And to go back in the beginning, I just want to make sure that we understand to say thank you to everybody, to everybody. And I am so grateful for everybody who God has sent to help me. Okay, and I'm grateful for you guys for listening to God to help me or listening to God to help anybody else. Like anybody helping anybody, I'm thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, if you are sent by God, but you know, that's all I want to say, guys. God bless you. Have a nice one.